everyone, I'm Bonnie from Really Reasonable Ribbon and Make Time to Craft. Today I'm back with my Bow It All version 3 and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a pom-pom with your Bow It All tool. I have my pegs in the middle row, it doesn't really matter which row you pick. I have them in the 4 and the 5.5 inch holes to make a 1.5 inch wide pom-pom. I also have a peg set up over on the side that I'm going to use to hold the edges, the ends of my yarn while I'm wrapping. I'm just using regular yarn today, just scraps I've had from knitting projects. Um, but it's fun to experiment with different types of yarn to get different looks for your pom-pom. And I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail here because that's what I'll wrap around the center when we're done. The, I'm going to start wrapping while I'm talking also because it does take quite a bit of wrapping to get a nice thick full pom-pom. So the larger you make your pom-pom, the more wrapping you're going to need to do to get a nice full and thick pom-pom. I'm using two strands today and I'm actually using two different colors for a variegated type look and if you're able, if you have enough scraps that you can use two strands to wrap, your wrapping will go much faster because you're doing two for one. Um, if you remember we did a yarn flower quite a while back and I used the same method only we didn't really wrap as much which left it to lay flat so you could have the round but flat look to create the flower that we made. Um, I did some checking on Pinterest before I made this and there are so many fun pom-pom crafts that you can make. It would be a fun thing to do with the kids while they're home for the summer too. So you're just going to wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap until you feel like you've got enough. I think we'll stop there for now and I'm just going to cut the yarn too so it makes it easier. Slip the helping hands peg off. Oops. And I'm going to cross in the back like I do for my bow. And we're going to move those out of the way. And for the pom-poms, you're going to pull as tight as you can. And I usually go around a couple times just to get it as tight as you can. You really want to get the center as tight as you possibly can. And then I'm going to switch hands and do my locking C-knot like I do with my bows. And for the pom-pom, I'm going to do a few extra knots in the back. I'll do, you know, right over left, left over right. You just want to make sure it's not going to come untied. And there's so much pressure on there from all the thickness of the yarn. So that's as tight as I can get it. I'm going to slide it up and off. And at this point, you're just going to be cutting those loops open. all the way around and if you find some you missed as you're fluffing just go in there and make sure they're all cut and when you get all your loops cut then you're just on to shaping which is probably the hardest part of making a pom-pom. Really you're just giving it a haircut and you're going to trim and trim until you get it as round as you can and I'm not gonna do the whole thing while you sit here. It's really pretty boring to watch. Um, once you're done hopefully I'll have a roundish type pom-pom ready to go. Now if you're gonna do try to do pom-pom sculpture type deals with different kinds. If you leave the tails out, it's easier to join them that way. This would be the beginnings if this was white of a snowman maybe. 
These are also kind of cute, just tied on like tennis shoes, make school colors, whatever you want to do. There are lots and lots of ideas for pom-pom, little animal sculptures, bunnies and mice. So just, you know, if you want to do some pom-pom crafts, check Pinterest. It's a great idea place. So that's it. Thanks so much for joining me and learning how to make this pom-pom on your bow at all tool. If you liked the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll be notified when I add new videos. Happy crafting! Mm -hmm.